So in this short video, I want to talk about two related topics. First, setting up your units in Onshape. So for example, are you working in millimeters or inches and how you would set that up? And secondly, related to that, we're going to talk about how to set up your decimal places. So how many decimal places your, your measurements or dimensions are shown as. So with units, uh, the important thing to note is that there are two ways that you can set up your units in Onshape. And depending on which of those two methods you use, it's going to give you different results. So first, there is the option to set up uh, your units on an individual workspace level. So that means how you want your units to apply just in one workspace. So in the active workspace, how do you want your units to display? And then the second way to set your units is on a account wide or your whole account level. And so that will change how your units are displayed on your whole Onshape account. And so from that, you can assume that if you have one unit setting for your whole account, the workspace settings will override that whole account setting. So first we'll show how to set up your units on an individual workspace level. So once you're, you have a Part Studio open, you come up here to the top left next to the Onshape um, logo, the button to the right of it, uh, document menu with these three lines. You click on it, come down here and click on workspace units. And this is where you can set it. So this is where you can set the units for an individual workspace. We have inch selected. So if I actually come over here on my sketch, double click on it to edit it. And here we have one, um, one inch and 3.155 or so 3.555 inches. Okay. And then if I come up here to document menu, workspace units, and change this to millimeters, except when I go back and edit the sketch, right click, edit, my units have changed. So I had one inch here. But since I changed to millimeters, now it's telling me one inch is 25.4 millimeters, which is correct. And then whatever I had here has been converted to millimeters. Okay, so that's how you do the workspace uh, unit setting. And then quickly, let's also just talk about decimal places. So I'm actually going to switch back to inches workspace units, um, inches. And then notice we have length display decimals three. So zero decimal, one decimal, two decimal, three decimal places. So accept, then I'm going to go back and edit the sketch to view it. So this makes sense. Um, we selected three decimal places. And we have you know, we have three decimal places shown because our measurement is 3.555. Now, if I change this to 3.5555, I'm storing a value of four decimal places, but it's still just going to show three decimal places when I hit accept. And it's actually going to round up uh, the last decimal place. So it's going to show 3.556. So I'm going to hit enter 3.556 because it's rounding up the fourth decimal place because we requested to only show three decimal places. Now, if I actually do want to display all four decimal places, I can again go to workspace units and click on four decimal places, except edit. And now all four decimal places are shown. Now, you might be asking, why aren't there any decimal places shown for one? Well, one is a round number. You know, one is equal to 1.0000, but, but there's no need to display the four zeros because they're zeros. So mm -hmm. it just shows one. 
Okay. And then just one more thing here. Um, if we come back to the workspace units menu, we've talked about length units, but this is also where you can set how do you want to display degrees or angles. So do you want to use degrees or radians? And then how many decimal places? And then how do you want to display your, your mass? So gram, kilogram, ounce, pound. And then again, number of decimal places. Okay, now what about setting up units for your whole account? So this is the second method. So on the top right here, we click on your username. For me, it's CAD Sessions. Go to My Account. And then on the left here, we go to Preferences. And here we have Units. And this is kind of the same thing. So Length Units, Number of Decimal Places, Angle, Decimal Places, Mass, Decimal Places. So if we change um, the units here, this will set up your units for your whole account. So you don't always have to keep changing it to what you want, but you just you can just have it set permanently. And then that way, when you need to work in a different unit system um, for an individual workspace, you can use the first method and set up your units on that individual workspace. So if you make any changes, click on Save Changes, and then you can come up here to the top right and click on return to document to go back. Now, a couple things I do just want to point out. When you do go and change units, you don't have to worry. You're not actually changing the measurements on your models. You're just changing how the measurements are displayed. So, you know, just don't worry. You're not changing measurements. You're only changing how measurements are displayed. And then second, um, you might be asking, well, how does this affect my drawings? You know, if I have I have an um, drawing in on shape. If you know, if you're using drawings, is that going to affect me? Am I going to have to redo all my drawings? The answer is no. You can see here that the templates, they have inch millimeter templates. So if I select an inch template, those dimensions will come up as inches and I can still go and change my workspace units or account units to millimeters and that's not going to affect my drawing. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so that's it. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you know, you can always comment at the bottom. And as always, thanks for watching.